Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a revealing card on scroll effect without the use of any line of CSS or additional plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this. As you can see, this is card one. So when you scroll, you're going to have card, card one is going to review card two, card two is going to review card three, and so on and so forth. And you're going to have something that looks like that. So we're going to achieve that without the use of any line of CSS. And also, we also got we can also add a paradise effect to this effect here and then we're gonna have something that looks like this we're gonna see something that looks like this okay so it depends on which one you want to go with so at the end of it i'm going to show you how to achieve both effect and then apply it to your website so without further ado let's dive in and get started and in order to make this video long we're going to make use of this design which we've already done before when we were creating stock cards and parallax effect so you can revisit the video to see how these cards were created and what we did there. So in this tutorial here, we've removed all the effects we added to the various cards to make them stack and have a parallax effect along the line as well. So, and then we didn't remove the effect we added here. So in order for you to see what we added here, you can revisit the video for stack cards and parallax effect. And link will be added in the description of this tutorial here for that video. So you can access the video and then see it in case you haven't seen it before so over here now since we've removed all the effect we added to the various cards and then we left the effect here if you scroll now you're not going to notice a long vertical scrolling effect like what we have here however this is not the effect we want to achieve right now so the effect we want to achieve is so instead of the card to so stack while scrolling we want the card to review the next card while scrolling okay so to make this happen what we're going to do here in our editing screen we're just going to come over here now for this particular container here this is the container here and then just like we'll have in our previous video this for the text this section here and then this is for the various cards which you can see these are the various cards here so this container here is just an empty container to enable us have a long scroll okay and then right here, this second container here, this third container rather is another empty container at the bottom. So we now have the container we are working with, this one here at the middle, okay? All right, so now for the first card here, we're going to go to the advanced settings. And then for the Zen we're going to give it a value of 10, okay? And then we're going to come over to the motion effect. And then we're going to turn on the scrolling effect. And for the scrolling effect, we're going to come over to the sticky. And we're going to set the sticky to the bottom. And then for the offset, we're going to set the offset value to 100. Okay, so we'll go to the next card. Now for the next card, that is card 2. We're going to come down here and then give it a Z index of 8. And then go to the motion effect and turn the motion effect on. And we're going to come down here to the stick, sticky and then we're going to give set the sticky to the bottom. And then for the offset, we're going to give the offset value 100. Okay. And then we're going to come over here and make sure you allow you toggle this to stay in column. All cards should stay in column. Very important. Okay, so we'll come to the next card, which is the card 3. And we'll go over here to the Z index. We're going to give the Z index a value of 6. And then we're going to come still on the card, card 3. After giving the Z index, so setting the Z index to 6, we're going to come over to the motion effect. And then we're going to toggle the scrolling effect. And come down here to where we have the sticky and then set the sticky to the bottom and like we did in card one and card two we're going to give it an outside value of 100 as well then we'll come over to the fourth card for the fourth card we're going to set the z index to the value of four and then we're going to come down to the motion effect toggle this the scrolling effect and then we'll come down to the sticky and set the sticky to the bottom and we set the offset to 100 okay and then we're going to come down and also make sure you, this is toggled to yes, that will stay in column. Okay, so we'll come to the fifth card. Now for the fifth card, what we're going to do is we're going to set the Z index to value of 1. And then we're just going to come over to the motion effect. For the scrolling effect, we're going to set toggle this to on. And then we're going to come over to the sticky, set the sticky to the bottom. And then give it an offset of 100. Okay. So uh, stay a lot top of this to stay in column. Okay. So now that we've done all of this, uh, everything is okay. So now we're going to see what we have done, see the effect we've done on our website. So we're just going to come over here. Now, when you scroll, you'll notice 
you can see the various cards reveal each card okay this is card one revealing card two revealing card three revealing card four and revealing card five so we've all successfully created this wonderful effect without the use of any line of css code or or additional plugin this is a wonderful effect you can add to your website just to you know spice things up okay and also you can even go further to add a parallax effect to this revealing effect to make it more interesting and in order for you to do that just like we did when we were doing the stacking card we can also add such parallel effect to this revealing cards effect as well so to do so we're just going to go back here and then we're going to come over to card one and then we go back to motion effect and uh, we're going to come over to the scale i'm going to toggle the scale and set the scale to scale up and then we're going to leave the viewport at bottom zero and bottom 100 now the reason we're set we're going to leave this value at for the bottom zero percent and for the top hundred percent is so that uh, we can see our effect immediately we start scrolling okay so now the next thing we're going to do is going to go to the second card and for the second card we'll come over to the motion effect and then for the scale still the same thing we're going to do set it to scale up and then for the viewport we're going to set the viewport to the same value for the bottom zero uh, for the top 100 uh, we're also going to go to the second effect uh, that is the third card and for the third card we're going to come down here to the motion effect for the scale scale it up and then the viewport we're going to set it to bottom zero and then top 100 okay so we're now going to go over to the next card which is card four now for card four we're going to apply the same effect scale scale it up and then for the viewport the bottom we're gonna set it to zero as well and then for the last card we're gonna come over and then go to the scale scale it up and then for the viewport the bottom we'll set it to zero okay so now when we come over here let's view our effect and see if we've added us parallel effect as well so now when we scroll if you notice you can see happens so this is also the effect we can add you can see so when we scroll comes out so you can either make use of this effect or you just leave it the way we we left the wall first got before we got to this point added this effect so whatever well works for you or whatever way you want to do it you can either use the stacking card effect or you can use this revealing card effect or are easy to achieve without any line of CSS code or additional plugin. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. And remember to drop your comments wherever you're confused or you have a suggestion or question to ask. I'll always be there to attend to you. See you. Bye-bye.